Hello Hornby fans and welcome to another edition of Signal Box. Firstly, I'd like to take the time to thank you all for your comments on the previous episode. We are just starting out, so your feedback is hugely appreciated. Part of this journey is me learning from the people that make the models, but it's also learning from you at home, the people that are passionate about those models. So thank you for joining me and I hope you'll come back each and every month as we learn a little bit more together. So, a little bit of housework first. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out. And what are we looking at in this month's episode? Well, let's take a look. We take a closer look at the LNER Gresley coaches. I speak with Hornby brand manager Montana as we take a trip into the whizzing world of Harry Potter. And we have a recap of our exciting announcement at the Southeastern Open Day, along with a very special visit to the 2019 Science Jamboree. I'm Mike, we're Hornby, and this is Signal Box. First up, we're taking a closer look at the upcoming Gresley coaches. The 5th of April 2019 marked the 78th anniversary of the death of one of the world's most famous steam locomotive engineers, Sir Nigel Gresley. Beginning his career at the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway and Great Northern Railway, Gresley joined the newly formed London and North Eastern Railway as Chief Mechanical Engineer in 1923. During his career, Gresley has been responsible for the design of several of the most famous British steam locomotives, including the LNER A1 and A3 class, such as the Flying Scotsman, the LNER Class A4, like the Mallard and the Silver Jubilee, and of course the P2 class, such as the Cock of the North. We here at Hornby have a range of different locomotives and coaches designed by Sir Nigel Gresley, and we are pleased to be adding the 616 Gresley coaches in their stunning teak finish to our range. The additions to the range include a full brake, corridor buffet, corridor first and third, and finally a composite brake. To achieve this impressive finish, the coaches go through 100 different paint and print operations to ensure that the detail on the finish is the best that it can be. Now these are decoration samples, so they're not the finished models, but I think you'll agree that even at this stage, these models have fantastic detail, including painted cab interior, coach numbering, sprung buffers, and of course, that beautiful teak finish. Whatever you choose to pull your coaches with, there's no doubt that they will look stunning on your layout. Scheduled for release later this year, the finish is so good, it's hard to take your eyes off. In fact, the only thing missing is the smell from the buffet car. No, maybe we'll put that in a future model. Next up, we're taking a trip into the wizarding world of Harry Potter, as we get a chance to chat to our brand manager, Montana, at one of our recent events. For 2019, we have partnered with Warner Brothers. And we've introduced the Hogwarts Express set, as well as a whole range of Hogwarts Express products. So we've got the, the set in the range this year. We've also got individual locomotives, individual coaches, and a selection of Hogsmeade buildings. So if you want to sort of create something like this, you've got everything that you need to create a real Harry Potter design. So you get the, the Hogwarts Express, you get two coaches, you get a track, and you get your transformer um, and controller. So everything that you would normally get in a set, but obviously the Hogwarts Express, which is the, the, the key item. So this is arriving next month, and we've got two more batches arriving over the summer. The individual locos and the coaches are gonna be arriving later this year, around November time, as well as the buildings. Sporting the Hogwarts famous crest and nameplate and destined for Hogwarts Castle, it won't be long before you'll be rolling into Hogsmeade. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, this is a must have. And don't worry, the set will be available for both wizards and muggles alike. Last month, we had our first competition to give away a year's membership to our Hornby Club. We had lots of entries to the competition and we are pleased to announce that Adam Smallwood is our winner. Congratulations to Adam and be sure to keep your eyes out in future editions for more exciting competitions. Lastly, Hornby had two special events this past month. First up, our team visited Sandwich for the 2019 Science Jamboree, where children were taught what it takes to create one of our models. This year, Hornby and Airfix are here. We're showing um, around 2,000 children how to build a locomotive and also um, how to make a plane fly. So it's a brilliant opportunity for us to display our products and, and really try and introduce them to, to what we do. We also had a very special naming ceremony at the Southeastern Open Day, as we are privileged to have a 395 named after us. To celebrate the naming, we'll be releasing a special run of 395s that include the Hornby logo as seen on the real logo. 
a proud moment for everyone at Hornby, past and present. So did you manage to attend the open day? Will you be getting your hands on one of our 395s? Let us know in the comments below. I'm sure like all of us here, you'll be looking out for the Hornby named loco on your travels. Be sure to share with us any snaps you have with the Hornby loco out and about. Well, that's all we've got time for this month, I'm afraid. What did you think of the 395 announcement? What will you be pulling your Gresley coaches with? And what will you be running on your layouts this month? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining me. And if you'd like to find out more information about any of the products featured today, head over to hornby.com and read our monthly blog, Engine Shed. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next stop.